first thing I would say, if it's a part of the process to echo Ian, you have to know about it because you cannot dodge it. Like your contacts cannot avoid their procurement team. They cannot bypass them no matter how much you push back and keep in mind. So my, my husband actually funny enough is, is in procurement. So like me coming from being a salesperson and him being a procurement, I was like, we should actually fight. But like on the one, you know, but then I'm able to actually get some insight their entire job, they get a pat on the back for doing a great job if they can get your price down. Like their job is to buy the best product they possibly can for the lowest price. That's their end in mind. A lot of salespeople go a procurement and they try to pitch value to them. They try to sell the procurement person on the value. And here's how much your team needs this. And yeah, it's not the cheapest thing, but let's talk about the perks and the benefits. They don't care. They do not care. So the best thing that you're going to be able to do is try to find a way to seamlessly work with that procurement person. So like Ian said, first and foremost, you have to know before you send any agreement and before you negotiate any pricing, if there is a procurement team, if there is a procurement team, then you can actually tell your buyer, let's make this really easy. I know you have procurement. Let's save the cost discussions between me and your procurement team. Why don't you and I pick the best package? If you know we're in the ballpark of your budget, we're going to be in great shape right? Avoid the negotiation to be negotiated again, because then you're coming into procurement at rate card. And when procurement says, I need you to get this down 10%, you go deal, right? Because you've already built in the ability to negotiate. So if you know there's a procurement team, find the way to give procurement the quick win. If you're already going to them and it's the lowest possible denominator and you've gotten down to your lowest allocated discount and our procurement says, great, I'm not signing this at this price. You're either going to have to then hardball with them or go back to your contact and say, I either have to walk or they have to sign. Nobody likes that. Or you say, I anticipated this. You know what? I can't take 10% off of that, but I could do an additional five for you, right? Know the game that they're playing and don't try to outsell a procurement person. But if you don't know that it's coming, then you could actually be in a little bit of trouble. That being said, sometimes they surprise you with procurement. <laughs> Uh, I have yet to see examples where you ask, do you have a procurement process? And they're like, no, we don't. And all of a sudden they're like, yeah, we do. Like I haven't had people lie to me before, but if you dodge that subject and you don't hit it head on and then you don't address it properly, that's when you get in trouble.